when you have runaway inflation, All aboard! a cycle that you can't believe, you know the Fed's going to step in to try to stop it. And when inflation is speeding so fast that it smashes through every barrier the Fed has set up, that means we're looking at a huge amount of havoc in the stock market because the Fed only has one tool at its disposal that can cool down the economy, raising interest rates. They raise the cost of borrowing money, and it always has a chilling effect on business. But it hasn't yet. Today, the market got just completely obliterated. Dow plunging 630 points, has to be plummeting 2.8%. NASDAQ nosediving 3.8%. Because we got a flaming hot non-farm payroll report that made it clear the runaway inflation train is still going full speed ahead. These numbers flew in the face of everything the Fed has already done. And they've done a lot. j Powell's hit us with three triple rate hikes in a row. Yet the September unemployment rate this morning dropped, dropped from 3.7% to 3.5%. Now that should be good, but we know we're not in that environment. We had the labor sector in squawk on the street this morning, and even he seemed unenthused because of the consequences of inflation from these numbers and what the Fed has to do to rein it in. We all know why, because ultra-low unemployment means the Federal Reserve has no choice. They have to find a way to derail the runaway inflation train. And that means mandating a series of rapid-fire rate hikes. This time, maybe even we're talking, some are saying about 100 basis points, not just 75. And the two-year Treasury seems to indicate, well, but we're in the soup again. Every time we get seemingly positive economic data, you have to remember that it's terrible because it gives the Fed more reason to bring on the pain. The house of pain. Good news is indeed bad news, and this employment number was great news, so the inverse is in play. And that means the hawks are right, and more rate hikes are easily assured and justified. Then and only then will it become too expensive to get a mortgage or expand a business or hire new people. And that's when this Fed-mandated torture session will finally come to an end. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.